my god! Oh, my god. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't mean! I don't mean! No one wanted Sultan not to go through more than me. As per usual, but we're going to start off with this Anana story. Now, this is coming in from Rob Dawson in the ESPN. Uh, Andre Anana is in talks with the Cameroon FA in an attempt to delay his release for the AFCON tournament. Anana has indicated he would like to participate in the tournament, but wants to limit his time away from Manchester United as much as possible. He is keen to make himself available for United's game against Wigan on January the 8th. Cameroon begin their AFCON campaign against uh, Guinea on January the 15th. Well, um, as I understand it, and I'm just having a quick look at Manchester United's fixtures here. Um, Manchester United play, uh, obviously play Wigan on the 8th. And then the following week, um, we play Spurs. And after that, we play on um, the well. We play Spurs on the on the fourteenth. Um, our next Premier League game is Wolves away on the first, and um, West Ham at home on the fourth. If we beat Wigan, there'll be another FA Cup game as well. So he might. He's going to miss Spurs, and my issue with this is is that he's probably going to miss two or three games anyway. And I don't really see what this is all about. I mean, I think this is just Ten Hag has to make a decision on this. I think Anana, you know, is running around doing stuff that Ten Hag can step in and stop. Um, ultimately, let him go. Like, if you're playing in the AFCON, go. I, I'm t I've got to be honest, I'm tired of it. I am tired of it because we're Manchester United and the season's been chaotic at best. It's been very up and down in relation to results and stability and consistency is really important. Now, Anana isn't going to the AFCON, is going to the AFCON, isn't going to the AFCON, is going to the AFCON, he is going to the AFCON. And now he's saying, I want to delay going to the AFCON so I can play against Wigan. We don't need you to play against Wigan, mate. You know, you're not going to play against Spurs because you've got a game that day playing for Ghana. If you're not playing against Spurs, we don't need you against Wigan because we need to give Bienda Wigan to get used to playing for Man United in a less pressured environment than the Spurs Premier League game. So we don't need you to stay for the Wigan game. And I think this is where um, I think this is where um, Eric Ten Hag has to step in and. Um, you know, say something, because if he doesn't, then we're basically being run by player power again. And, and you know, we're all moaning about player power when it's when it's Marcus Rashford um, or it's, you know, Bruno Fernandes or it's Harry Maguire or Rafael Varane. But this is player power. Like Eric Ten Hag, I believe, and I don't know what everyone else thinks, has to step in and say, look, thank you for, you know, wanting to stay a little bit longer and delaying your join up for the AFCON. But in all honesty, Bienda's going to play against Spurs because you're not here. And I can't throw him into the Spurs game without a previous game because Spurs is a big game. Uh, Wigan in the FA Cup is important to us, but I trust him to play in that game against the team that we would hope to win anyway. I don't need you to stay for Wigan. You know, play your game against Forest tomorrow and then you're off. And, and I think that makes sense for everybody. Um... What this comes across as to me, any chance of us buying a new keeper in the summer, says Daily Hibbert. No, I don't think so. Um, what this um, what this comes across to me is, it's player power again. It's players worrying about their position in the team. It's like, oh, I am going to play in the AFCON, but uh, I'll, I'll go a little bit later so I can play another game. Look, you're going to miss games. If you don't want to miss games, don't go and play in the AFCON. If you're going to go and play in the AFCON, off you go. I, I, staying for Wigan is ridiculous. In fact, it probably does us more harm because w what do we need an honor against w Wigan? No, we don't. Do we need him against Spurs? Yeah, but he's going to go and play in the AFCON like a lot of players are. Off you go, put Basuma in goal. I think what this is about is this is a goalkeeper that's worrying about his position. And what he's trying to do is limit the amount of games that Bienda plays and therefore, he's like, I'll join up late and then I can play the Wigan game. And and, and that's not that's not how it's going to work. Manchester United are bigger than you, pal. 
And it's not going to work like that. You're not going to limit the games that Beinder plays for your own benefit. Um, it's Wigan. We're going to play Beinder against Wigan because he's not had any game time. And then he's going to play against Spurs. And you'll come back and you, you, you'll probably get your place back. But stop trying to manipulate the situation so that you can get more game time and limit Beinders. You know, we're a team at Manchester United. And any player knows and any manager knows that Beinder needs to play against Wigan. So look, I think it's... Um, the flip side to that coin, welcome to the Members Club, uh, uh, Ishan, is the flip side to that coin is people will say, well, let's be fair, Mark, he's putting Man United first. He, he, he wants to try and play as many games as possible. But he's not putting Man United first, is he? He's, he's not putting Man United first because he was retired from um, his country. He signed for Man United and he's made himself available again. So he's not putting Man United first. He's putting his country first, which is absolutely fine. And he's not putting Man United first by making himself available for Wigan because he won't be available for Spurs. What he's doing is he's looking at the calendar and going, I don't need to be in Africa a week before. I'll go a few days before and then I can play against Wigan and then that stops being the playing and then that limits the games he's going to play. I think this is quite a selfish move, if I'm being honest. Um, and if it's not a selfish move, then Ten Hag needs to do his job and say, we don't need you. Um, I think I think he's trying to... I think he's having to. I think it's trying to have two bites of the cherry. You know, we've all probably been in that position. I remember it happening to me, not at, not not on a professional level, but I remember. I've said this before on that's football. I had um, I had work experience when I was fifteen at school, and we had a brilliant school team, and we had an important game on the Saturday for the school team, um, and uh, on the Thursday the manager ar arranged a friendly. Um, but I was on work experience at uh, another football club because that's what I did for a week. And um, I said to the manager, I said, um, I can finish early on the Thursday and come back for the friendly. And he said, oh, don't worry about it because um, we've, um, uh, you know, it's only a friendly. And I said, but there's loads of competition for places. I'll, I'll come back for the friendly. And he was like, no, it'll be fine. It'll be absolutely fine. Didn't turn up. We played really well in the friendly. And on the Saturday, I was on the bench. I, I came on after half an hour and won my place back. I mean, that's that's inevitable. But... It, the, I get it. I understand where Anana's coming from because he's got that, you know, it's that, it's that, it's that green envy, isn't it? It's like I don't want to miss games because someone else might take my place. That's what it's ultimately. That's what it's about. It's a fear that he's going to lose his place, so he's trying to, you know, move things around. I'll come back for that game. I'll, I'll, I'll go back a little bit late, and um, I get it. And I think what it overarches says is that. He's concerned about his place. And in and, and, and that in itself, I suppose, is the big story. Anana's clearly aware his position is under threat.